Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football, continuing with our week six picks and predictions, heading to the Big 12 as Kansas State heads on the road to play Oklahoma State. And I want to start off with a few of my ideas on this Kansas State team. Feels like the national media just wants to forget about them after that loss against Missouri. Two things. One, that's a really, really good Missouri team. I think we've seen that the last couple weeks. And two, this Kansas State team is going to benefit massively off a bye week, getting some guys healthy. This is still a really, really good Kansas State team. Excited to get into this one. Now, before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys. The support you guys have shown the boys for all of these game breakdowns truly does mean a lot. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So if you guys do want to support the boys, you enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. But more importantly, would love to hear your guys' takes in the comment section. That's the best part about doing it, talking ball with you guys in the comment section. So appreciate y'all rocking with the fellas. Without further ado, let's get into this one. And I want to start with this Kansas State defense going up against an Oklahoma State offense that going back, watching a little bit of the film, I don't know what the identity of this Oklahoma State team is. I mean, they've been playing quarterback roulette and a ton of guys, different guys started. It sounds like Alan Bowman is going to take this job. You look at this offense and how they operate it. Like, what's the identity of this Oklahoma State offense? I, I think I know what it should be, but it's not what you see on the field. I mean, you have one of the better running backs in the Big 12 in Ali Gordon, and Oklahoma State's only rushing the ball on 40% of their plays. That is 122nd in the country. So when I look at this Oklahoma State team, you're obviously the quarterback play is not great. You have a really good running back, and what I think is an okay offensive line but you're choosing not really to run the football. When it comes to offensive play calling, I'm not going to pretend like I'm a genius on it. That being said, you can sometimes just dumb it down and say, who are our best players on offense and how can we get them to football? Ollie Gordon, I think, is by far the best player on this Oklahoma State offense, and he's just not getting the opportunities and touches to make an impact on this game. He's averaging 6.2 yards per carry, an extremely physical bruising back, and then Alan Bowman, is barely completing 50% of his balls for two touchdowns to three interception ratio. You look at this Oklahoma State offense, and I'm saying, why, why are the best players not consistently touching this football? Now, you look at Kansas State. This is a defense that even though you lose a guy like Daniel Green, who I really do think is one of the better linebackers in the conference, it's still such a solid group, top from bottom. You have a really good defensive line. Khalid Duke is a guy that just – generates pressure. I don't know if I want to go and say he, he's an All-American, but he's damn near close. Like A really, really good pass rusher. Austin Moore and the linebackers fly around. Good secondary. The biggest takeaway for Kansas State, and when you watch the Kansas State games, you see it against UCF, against Missouri, and then when you look at the numbers, you see it too. I mean, they're just giving up the big play a little too much, right? And when you look at the numbers, less than what, a 56% completion percentage against this Kansas State secondary – but they're giving up 8.4 yards per pass. They're giving up that big play too much. I think it arguably cost them against Missouri. I think it, I mean, it made that UCF game probably closer than it should have been. If Kansas State can play, I mean, a down to down basis, this Kansas State team is smothered. It's got a really good front seven, it's got a solid secondary. But in college football, it's all good to have a really efficient defense from a down to down basis. But if you give up the big play, like the extent Kansas State has done, the last couple of games, that's when you start losing football games or having games closer than it should be. My overall take on this Kansas State team is this is a really good defense that just has to limit those explosive plays that they give up. And you look at Oklahoma State, they're averaging 5.1 yards per pass. That's 128th in the country. I don't know if Oklahoma State it can test Kansas State down the field, and they certainly don't really have the quarterback to do so either. Now, flipping sides. Getting Will Howard back 100% going to be absolutely massive. Clearly hampered in that Missouri game. Clearly hampered in the UCF game. Him being 100%, being able to use that big body as an athlete is absolutely massive. But my biggest takeaway for Kansas State is super balanced attack. And when you look at the numbers, like it, it really impressive, right? Top, uh, top 15 in the country scoring 38 points per game. Top 15 in the red zone. They're really good at finishing drives. I think the, the story for Kansas State is – just keep on doing what you're doing on offense, getting Trayshawn Ward back. You talk about a running back duo that's not being talked enough about. And everyone wanted to kind of sleep on Kansas State in this rushing attack because you lose Deuce Vaughn, and Deuce Vaughn's a great player. Like, not, not trying to disrespect him at all. But DJ Giddens 
Treshawn Ward coming back healthy. I mean, DJ Giddens went for over 200 yards against UCF. This is a team that can run the football, can hit the explosive play when they need to. I'd like to see get Phillip Brooks a little bit more involved. I think he's the most dynamic player on this Kansas State team. And I, I would like to see just a little bit more designated touches, but I'm not going to critique this offense too much because it has been playing really, really good football. Oklahoma State on defense, I think it lacks playmakers. And again, I'm not trying to like drag this Oklahoma State team through the mud here. It's just when you watch them, and I hadn't watched them up until I wanted to dive into this preview, I think it just lacks playmakers. Like Colin Oliver is really the only guy that I'm watching. Like, yeah, that guy might be playing on Sundays. Outside of that, I don't really think they have the playmakers. They're not a lead against the run. They're not a lead against the pass. It's, it's kind of just a, a middling defense that put, gets put in bad spots because the Oklahoma State offense really does struggle to stay on the field. When it gets to the pick here, and, and some, there's like a, a certain extent where you got to go off the vibes and what you see on the film and what the numbers say, Kansas State, the, the more complete team on both sides of the football. I think Chris Kleiman has done an absolutely phenomenal job with this program. You saw them bounce back against a brutal Missouri loss with a really nice performance against UCF. If Kansas State can limit the big plays, which again, Oklahoma State has not shown you they can hit the big plays on a consistent basis, I think Kansas State wins this game. I think they're going to be able to move the football, put points on the board, and on the defensive side of the ball, create some turnovers, create some negative plays, and then a vibes. So like you, you have Kansas State, who is, I think, clearly the better team from what you've seen on the football field. Then you look at the vibes like I, Oklahoma State is just, I mean, they don't have an identity. It doesn't seem like this program has a lot of confidence either. Coming off a of bye, maybe you get a little bit more juice from this team, but give me Kansas State to win this game and give me Kansas State to cover the number 12 points. I think Kansas State can win this in a big way. Oklahoma State getting pieced up by that Iowa State offense, in my mind, just a really bad. I mean, that Iowa State offense does not have many playmakers. It's not a very explosive offense. And Oklahoma State was giving up plenty of yards. I don't trust the quarterback play for Oklahoma State. I'm riding with Kansas State. This is a team that I'm not getting talked enough about because a lot of the coverage wants to go to Texas and Oklahoma. Kansas State's right up in there for winning a Big 12 title again. It's a really solid team, top from bottom, really well coached, good quarterback play. Kind of checks all the boxes that you're looking for at the college football level. I'll ride with the Wildcats here, covering that 12-point spread. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys again. Let me know your picks in the comment section. Appreciate all the support you guys have shown the boys, and we'll talk to you all later.